Welcome back and thanks for staying with us and joining us this week on the Get Geared Up segment. This is really the last segment that we can talk about our turkeys before we retire them into the fall. I know I had them out here last week, but I wanted to bring John in because when turkey season started, John and I had a mission and we were going to get John his first turkey. And you know, we went turkey hunting three times, John, and we yep. got real close to the birds. But you know, we didn't quite close the deal. It just seemed like we were always pointing in the wrong direction, weren't we? Exactly. That seems to be the story of every hunt I've been on. I'm pointing the wrong way. Well, John actually woke up one morning that we called one of our turkey hunts off, and he, and he was laying in bed, and he had this premonition of a, of a poem. And like we all don't do, John got up and wrote it down. So let's hear from John right now. Let's hear about this poem you wrote for turkey hunting. Well, the name of this poem is Ode to the Turkey Woods by John War. The morning glow is what I love with sounds of gobble from above. While sitting snug within my perch, the noise of soaring birds do lurch. The red buds glow with this new light and dogwoods bloom within my sight. From in the mist, a silhouette, then bobbing head, I must get set. I see the bird, it's time to urge. Then two, no three, my blood does surge. I aim my gun where not to fall. Then slow and cool, I start to call. With yelps and moans and then soft purrs, I dream of beards and two inch spurs. With chest of feathers and nape of red, they soon will pierce my range of lead. Then just as ghosts aboard a ship, they disappear, my sight they slip. My heart does sink, those strutting beasts. They reappear while heading east. Again this day, I did my best, but that won't do. I'm pointing west. Well, you know, John, that one makes me cry, and I'm sure it will every time I hear it. Well, you know there's always next year, though. Yep. Well, listen, now that turkey season's over, we're going to be moving into fishing. And I'm going to talk about a special kind of fishing. You know, we're, we're, we've done some reviews here on this last week's show of um, Zeke's Landing, some of those guys down on the coast of Florida where they're having that oil spill problem. Well, I grew up pier fishing and beach fishing all along the Florida, Alabama, and Mississippi and Texas shoreline. And just last summer, my wife Dawn and I went to Texas to visit our son, and we came back through Galveston and rummaged through the archives and found some very neat pictures of pier fishing back around the turn of the century. As you can see, we had a rendering done right here by Sammy Hall, and uh, this is just one of the many pictures that we're going to be showing you, and we're going to be talking about the 20 items needed to be a pier or surf fisherman in the 21st century. So stick with us. Be back next week for another Get Geared Up episode. For now, this is John Warren, Sam Hall. We'll see you soon.